Today we're going to be making the most popular type of carousel post on Instagram, a seamless carousel. A seamless carousel is one of those ones you see on quite professional account where the image carries over across different slides. In a recent video I did, I mentioned that Metricool did a study on 300,000 accounts and found that in 2023, engagement on Reels was actually going down, but seamless carousels were growing. So that's why I've made this video today, so that you can get more engagement, more growth, and ultimately a bigger follower base. All you need today is a Canva account, and it can be a free one, and a computer. So you can do this on your phone, but it's a lot harder, so I just recommend jumping over onto a desktop computer. As always, I give away everything for free, but if you do wanna save yourself some time, I've actually already made this seamless carousel template. It's available on my Buy Me A Coffee store, and it's just $1. If you do end up just buying it, then skip to this timestamp here. But otherwise, let's get into it. We're going to jump over to Canva and we're going to click on create a design. Then jump down to custom size. Now I'm going to make a seven slide seamless carousel and you don't have to use all seven of these slides. I just find seven is like a really optimal number for engagement. So I'll show you how I do it. The custom size, what we're gonna do is we're going to time the width, which is normally 1080 by the amount we want. So I'm going 1080 times seven, which is 7,560. And then for the height, go 1350. All right, so I have this big banner, but what do I do with it? Well, what I wanna do is jump over to file, view now. settings, show rulers and guides. Now I need to split this into seven different 1080 frames. So I drag from over here, cool. find 1080. See, I've got 1081 here, which is annoying. So I'm gonna zoom in, jump over here, and then it should, it'll zoom in even more. So this is why if you wanna skip this, just download my template, which is a dollar. But otherwise, you gotta do this little finicky stuff. Actually, there's probably a way you can set the exact number. I don't know how to do it. Feel free to comment if you know how to. So I've got my very first line just here. Now I need to repeat this five more times. Six more times. Five more times. So here we go. I'll put up on the screen the numbers you need, and then I'll just fast forward this because I imagine it'll probably be a little bit boring. So next one is 2160. And if you're wondering where the numbers come from, it's just 1080 plus another 1080 plus another 1080. 540. Just realized I've done my maths wrong, so I'm just gonna add one more. So 540 plus 1080. 6480, that's my last one. All right, so if we've done this correctly, then we should have these different rows. So I've got one at 1080, another at 2160, another at 3240, another at 4320, another at 5400, and then my last one at 6408. Okay, we need to add just two more guides to this, and these are quite important ones, and I'll explain why they're important later on. So this okay. time we're going to drag a guide from the top, and we're gonna go to 100 and 35, which you can see it's already detected it. Then we're gonna grab one more from the top and we're gonna drag it all the way down to one, two, one, five. Okay, the reason this is important is because the very first slide on any seamless carousel is only gonna be shown as a square. It's a 1080 by 1080. The rest are gonna be that 1080 by 1350, the longer shape, but the very first one is always a square. What that means is that on your very first slide of your carousel, you wanna make sure the text and the image is in this little box here. So don't go outside of the lines or it'll be cropped out. All right, so if you don't wanna set up this template, then just go over to my Buy Me A Coffee page and you'll see this screen. Just jump over to shop, click on this, and then for $1, you can download it. Once you've downloaded it, you'll get this. Just go into file, make a copy, and then ta-da. You have your very own copy that you can edit, saving you a bunch of time. Now, if you don't see these little rule lines, then just click File, View Settings, Show Rulers and Guides. Jumping back into our tutorial now, one thing that I can pretty much guarantee will happen to you while you're making a carousel is you will move these around. And it's super annoying, but it doesn't have to be. So this is a really important one. Just go File, View Settings, and then Lock, guides and now they can't be moved woohoo I'm going to be honest with you guys I, I made many a carousel and got very annoyed at the moving 
before I realized you could do this. And I don't know why, I just, I, I saw it one time and was like, no way. So I, I promise that's gonna actually save you a lot of mental stress. From here, we can start designing our slides. And I actually have started using ChatGPT to make the artwork for my slides. And I don't think many people are doing this. I'm almost reluctant to share it, but you know, I'm, I'm always trying to provide value. So I'm gonna give away my trade secrets. But if you don't want to see me designing it, then just jump ahead to this timestamp and you can see how to upload your carousel to Instagram because there's about two more steps before you can put it onto Instagram. All right, with that in mind, let's get into it and start making our carousel. Okay, so before we go into chat GBT, I'm just gonna set up a little bit of structure on my carousel post, which you'll see now. I like to have a bit of a background like space for my branding. So I'm gonna drag that one here. I like it, it's, it's nice, it looks good. It's a little intense for me personally. So I click on the image like that, and then I click up here on transparency, and I'm just gonna drop it right down say and about there and let's say 20 i like 20. i'm gonna go seven slide carousel template quick bit about me my name is logan and i'm a new zealand based content creator i run a page called kiwi dad that's all about advice to be the best parent you can be my point of difference compared to the other instagram gurus is that i don't run a page about sort of guru advice on instagram i run a proper niche page that i've grown organically myself this carousel is going to be about the fourth trimester which is like a parenting thing first three months of baby's life the fourth trimester then I'm going to add some text in and you can see here it's just within my line and that's why these grid lines are so important because if I had it up here then it's going to cut that part off on my page which I don't want. I'm going to keep it there, chuck in some other words maybe about there, looks good. Canva actually has a whole bunch of really good graphics on their pro plan. I am on pro, you don't need pro to do this, like you can make a whole carousel without pro. This is just how I do it. Four fingers, that looks good. So I've grabbed this hand. I think it looks really good. It's the fourth trimester, so four fingers. And I'm gonna make it, it's gonna go over the words just a little bit for impact. And now when you see something like that, you're gonna go, huh, what's that? Fourth trimester? I thought there's only three trimesters. And you've got this cool hand, which is kind of the hook. Now, this is where ChatGBT comes in. And so the problem I had was I would try and find images of like, I don't know, a new parent couple where the mum still has like a bit of a pregnant tummy. And I couldn't really find them, but that's when I came across this hack. I'm going to jump over to ChatGBT now. And you do need ChatGBT Plus to do this. You can also do it using Midjourney. I don't really use that one. I've already got ChatGBT Plus, so that's what I'm gonna use. You wanna jump over to Dali, and if you don't have Dali enabled, then you just need to go explore. Then you'll see all these ones. You can see I've made quite a few. I've got like a little content expert that helps me with my script writing. I've got a LinkedIn writer. I've got all sorts, but I'm going to jump in now and pick Dali. So I've already picked it so it's there, but that's what you need to do is pick Dali and click on it. Now Dali can have a huge variety in the images it produces. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not, but I found if you get it to make silhouettes, it's pretty good. So here's the prompt I use. Show me a male and female holding a newborn baby. This female should show signs of recently being pregnant. Make it a silhouette start. Okay, cool. So it's given me these two. These two have slightly Asian features. I've noticed, and I'm curious if anyone else has had this, that Dali tends to lean towards generating sort of Asian centric images. Again, why silhouettes are so good. So that one doesn't quite work for me, but this one does. So you've got dad holding baby, mum's got a little bit of a tummy, perfect. I'm gonna okay. download that one. I'm gonna jump back in now, and then I'm going to upload the image I just downloaded. Just while that's uploading, I'm just gonna chuck a little bit of text into this, just to kind of pad it out. And I wrote this text initially myself, and then I got ChatGBT to improve my writing. Again, I could make a video on that. I love doing it, super useful. Just let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. I'll drop my photo in, I'm gonna click on it. Because of the way the carousel is designed, it's gonna pop up over here in the middle. That's all good. 
click on it, edit photo. Now I use background remove from Canva. It is a pro feature. There are ways online to remove the background from an image. So you can do that for free. Again, I'm pro, it's just easier this way for me. I can make an extra video about how to do this for free, but this is just the easiest way for me. All right, so I've got my image. It's looking good, I like it. I'm gonna go over here. For the most impact, I've found that if you put the image right in the grid lines, it's gonna carry over and look Really good, really tight. Here, I'll put this here. I don't know if I need their feet, to be honest. I might go like that, make it way bigger. Man, that perfect. Cool, so now when someone sees the image, they're first gonna see dad with the baby, and then as they scroll through, they're gonna see mum with the hand, but they'll see both images together, and it'll look awesome, it'll be engaging. And I mean, this has only taken me a couple of minutes to make something really cool. What I'm gonna do now is I am going to finish my design and then I'm going to chuck it up onto Instagram. So I'll show you that very quickly. I'm just gonna do a speed run and finish designing it. So I've finished making my carousel. I'm pretty happy with it. I might tighten up some of the formatting a little bit, but overall, pretty stoked. So this is what it looks like across the different slides. Okay, so now what we want to do is click share, download, and then you can download it at one times quality, but I actually prefer it at 1.5. So that's what I'm gonna do, download. Okay, so from here you have a few options to split up your carousel. There's an app called Panorama Crop that you can use. I personally like to just do it all on my computer and get it all ready. So I use my social boutique and there's a link in the description. It's completely free as always, kind of the best way in my opinion. Once you're on this page, you just wanna click upload an image. Here's my picture. As you can see, it's just one big picture, so I need to cut it up. Now, you don't wanna be on grid. You wanna be on carousel. Once you've clicked carousel, change the number of columns to seven. And even if you're not using all seven slides, make sure that you do this so that the dimensions are right and even. Once you've done that, just click split image. Now, this can take quite a while, like I'm talking three or four minutes sometimes, depending on, you know, the complexity of the image. So don't stress if it doesn't do it immediately, it's just kind of part of it. Okay, finally, full disclosure, the first time I tried this, it didn't even work, it timed out. So sometimes that happens. Anyway, it's now split into the seven images. So I just want to click on them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool, and now I can see that they've been split how I expected them to be. Cool. Now, because I'm on Apple, I'm just going to airdrop this to my iPad. Just the easiest way for me. If you're on Android, then, you know, chuck it on your Google Drive or copy it over however you copy it over. I'm just jumping over to my iPad. On my iPad now, I'm gonna go plus, and then I want to do a post. Click my first image. You need to click that little square thingy so you can get multiple images. You probably already know that, but just in case. And then I just need to make sure that I've got my order correct. Now, they normally download in a way that is intuitive, but just always double check. So I'm not going to put anything on it. I can see by clicking show preview what it will look like in my feed. And again, because I said square, I know it was gonna be like this. It fits perfect, happy as with that. It can look a little bit weird when it's got this line splitting it apart. But once you upload it, it looks all good. So I'll show you the finished product. See how cool is that? How smooth does that look? Looks so good, right? Again, you've got him on that one image there, yeah, but oh, he's in both. How cool. And that's it, it works super well. And if I click on view insights to see how it went, and that did pretty well. It got 1500 shares, a thousand likes, it's 600 saves. And most importantly, it reached 35,000 people, 32,000 of which weren't my followers. So I just reached 32,000 new people by doing this seamless carousel. Boom, totally worth doing. I hope this video helped you. If you'd like to know how to make custom thumbnails for your Instagram account, then check out this video. Or if you wanna massively grow your following this year, then check out this video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully you can grow with me. Kakite and see you next time.